So you clicked on this video because you want a ton of text presets, and I got you. These are all completely free for DaVinci Resolve 20, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get them. The first step is to click on the first link in the description, and it'll bring you to this Google Drive link. All you got to do is hit this download button right here, and you will download this .drb file. Drag this over to your desktop so you have it right here, and then open DaVinci. On DaVinci Resolve, open an existing project or create your own new project. Go to the edit page right here. So then what you want to do is hit this media pool and hit control I, then go to your desktop where you put that DRB file, click on it and click open. Then you have to wait a couple of seconds and then you will have this folder right here. If you want to keep this between every single project, what you can do is you can click on these three dots, make sure show power bins is enabled and then you don't need smart bins. So turn that off. Then power bins, open power bins and just drag this over here on top of this on master. And then when you have a different project, instead of having to import it again, all you got to do is just open your power bins and just drag this onto master for your project. Then what I want you to do is go down to the description and click on all of the font links. Then you'll have three pages open and we're going to start with the Google fonts one. It should say three font families, these three. Click select all fonts, then click view selected families right here and hit download all. It'll download a zip file. Then for these two font ones, all you got to do is just hit download for both of these. Then go ahead and open your downloads folder. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna open this and you'll have these three. Hit extract all, set this to your downloads, hit extract. Then it should extract and you'll have three folders inside of the downloads folder. Open one of them. We don't just double click on this, right click on it and click install for all users. Do that for all three of these so the monster out ones you don't need the italic, but you can do it if you want. Just right click and install for all users. And then finally for the pop-ins, this is a little different. You just have to select all of them by dragging on all of these and then just right click install for all users. Then for the other two, all you got to do is just open this zip folder and then just double click on this and hit install right here. Now what you can do is you can actually just close DaVinci and then reopen it so it refreshes it. Then reopen the project that you had open. And now when you drag in all of these and hit play, they will work and hopefully the fonts have all been installed. Now there are some more things that you have to do before you just go on your way with all of these. What you gotta do is you gotta make sure that when you go up to playback, render cache, hover over render cache, and then hit smart. This will make sure that it'll like render, pre-render this so that it's not laggy because sometimes it'll be laggy and then it won't look like good. It won't look smooth. And then the second thing that you gotta do and this is for future projects, you might have already started this project. Go down to the settings icon right here, click on that, and make sure timeline frame rate is set to 60 for every project. And I know you probably already created the project in the timeline, but what you can do is you can make a new project, then hit the settings icon, set timeline frame rate to 60, click these three dots and click set current settings as default preset which means you don't just need to make a timeline or anything. Every single time, it'll be 60 frames per second. Then when you get these presets and you drag them on here, and then you drag them on here, this will be 60 FPS and it'll look really smooth. Anyways, that's about it for this video. If you like these presets at all, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out and I'll see you guys in my next video. And if you had any questions at all, feel free to DM me on Discord. I'll put my Discord down in the description, or you can also just leave a comment on this video. That would really help a lot. Peace.